In Denmark, 1% of the population develops type 1 diabetes, which is insulin-dependent diabetes, during their lifetime. This is one of the highest occurrences in the world. Type 1 diabetes leads to severe complications such as blindness, kidney failure, cardiovascular disease and neuropathy. Type 1 diabetes is a severe burden for patients and expensive for society. The Bartolin Institute is located in the Copenhagen Biocenter. We are committed to understanding the causes and the development of the disease and to finding ways to prevent the disease from developing in individuals at risk. During the development of type 1 diabetes, the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas are destroyed by invading T-cells from the immune system. Fully developed diabetes is irreversible since the insulin-producing cells are eradicated by the immune system, but patients who are in the process of developing the disease can be identified, which means that we have a chance to stop or slow down the disease process. We have managed to stop diabetes development in animals by using insulin. Insulin reduces the activity of the insulin producing cells and this in turn reduces the frequency of the disease in the animals. Any medicine that suppresses the immune system also reduces the development of diabetes. But most immunosuppressants produce severe adverse effects which excludes them from being used in the prevention of diabetes. Downregulation of specific immunological activity is, however, possible. We are therefore identifying antigens that are attacked by the immune system. We are using molecular biology techniques to do this. These methods allow us to monitor the activity of the identified genes under different physiological conditions. We are also investigating changes in the immune system as a result of influences from the environment. We have found, for instance, that exclusion of gliadin from food is very effective in preventing diabetes in animals. Gliadin is a major component of flour from wheat. We are now in the process of understanding how gliadin influences the development of diabetes. Insulin represents a treatment, but not a cure for type 1 diabetes. We are therefore continuing our efforts to find methods to prevent type 1 diabetes. If you would like to collaborate with us, to join our group, or simply to know more, please feel free to contact us.